Hi everybody, welcome to the Baker Air Guns Quick Look. I'm Donnie Reed, and Benjamin has launched a new PCP for 2022. This is the Gunnar, G-U-N-N-A-R. I think I'm saying that right. This is the most modern and feature-rich PCP from Benjamin to date. Manufactured in Turkey, the Gun R has some very impressive specs. Let's take a good look at this new gun from Benjamin. The Gun R is a side lever PCP repeater available in both 22 and 25 caliber. It has an internally adjustable regulator as well as a five position transfer port adjuster to adjust your power externally. A 500 cc aluminum bottle gives the Gun R a pretty impressive shot count when only filled to 3000 PSI. The Gun R comes with two magazines and the 22 holds 12 pellets while the 25 holds 10 pellets. And these are the same magazines that come with the Turkish Craftsman series of Benjamin air guns. After cleaning the ample shipping grease from the Gun R, the first testing I did was chronograph testing. And like I said, I use this 25 caliber version for all the testing you'll see in this video. The graph that you are seeing here is a full shot string from the 3000 PSI fill down to the factory set regulator setting, which was 2000 PSI, and with the transfer port on maximum. As you can see, out of several strings, I got an average of right around 40 shots, with an extreme spread of 15 feet per second, and a standard deviation of 3 feet per second. That's some pretty good performance. And again, this is with the regulator at factory settings. It is adjustable, though not externally adjustable. You do have to dig in a little bit to adjust the regulator. Now I use the JSB Exact King 25.39 grain pellets for this testing, and I got an average of 876 feet per second and 43.26 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. Now, I didn't do full shot strings on each transfer port adjustment. However, I did get an average velocity and energy, and you can have a look at that graph now. While there is a massive difference between the setting on high or max and the setting on low or minimum, and I'm talking to the tune of 43.26 foot-pounds on max, and 20 foot-pounds on low, there are some steps in there which are barely steps at all. However, you may find them useful. Something that you will find is that the Gun R is an extremely quiet air gun. It utilizes a baffled shroud system, which without a pellet in it, an indoor, it shot at 66.6 decibels. That is very quiet. However, it also comes with an interchangeable shroud plug, and the other one has half by 20 UNF threading right on it. So if you want to add a moderator, you simply change the shroud cap, and you can screw it right on. I love the fact that this gun comes with this. Here's Danny testing the sound level for us. Another thing that I really like about the Gun R is this butt stock and the, just the general ergonomics of the gun. It utilizes an AR-15 pistol grip and this does have palm swells in it. It's a very comfortable rubberized finger grip groove, finger grooved grip, excuse me. However, this stock 
is one of the finest AR-15 or M4 style stocks I've ever seen. It has a cheek piece which adjusts up and down and back and forth. It also, just like any other M4 or carbine style AR-15 stock, adjusts back and forth for length of pull. It has a rubber butt pad and it actually has a Picatinny rail section right here so that you can attach a monopod or a rear bipod or whatever you like. And this is one of the outstanding features of this gun. And again, the entire gun does feel good. However, it is a bit front heavy. Uh, even with this relatively large scope on here, it's definitely muzzle biased so far as the weight distribution. That might be a good or bad thing, depending on what you like. Now the trigger, this trigger is another story. While it's a very light trigger pull, and it averaged 1.13 pounds of pull uh, out of a three pull test. And we'll show you a clip of Danny performing that in a minute here. The, the character of this trigger leaves something to be desired. It seems to be a single stage trigger. It's definitely not a real two stage, but it's very long and sort of mushy. And it reminds me of a Glock trigger. Uh, it's usable, but it's not great. It, it's not a match grade trigger. However, does the gun shoot accurately? Well, you have to hold on to the, for that, but have a look at Danny doing our trigger testing for us. So like I said, it's light, but the bane of it, it is not adjustable in any appreciable way. It does have an adjustable pad. You can adjust the pad up and down, or you can cant it left and right. However, the character of the trigger is not adjustable. And like I said, it, it's not terrible. There's a million triggers that are way worse than this. However, it's not a match trigger, and some users might be a bit disappointed by it. So, how does this thing shoot? I took this to the Midwest Shooting Center in Lima, Ohio. I took it to their indoor 100-yard range, and I determined at 50 yards that the JSB Exact King 25.39 grain pellet is the preferred pellet for this gun at this tune. At 50 yards, I got very sub MOA results from the gun. Uh, what I'm doing now for accuracy testing until I can find a way to record at the Midwest Shooting Center is I'm shooting four five shot groups on a single card and giving you an average. And at 50 yards, this gun averaged 0 0.39 inches. That is exceptional. My best group was 0 0.20 inches. This thing can shoot. There's no question about that. But like I said, that was just the pellet selection part of the accuracy. 100 yards is where we did the real testing. I shot two four group, five shots per group cards at 100 yards with the Gunnar using the JSB 25.39 grains. And somehow, even though the group sizes were different card to card, I came out with the same average of 1.41 inches on both cards. Uh, the best group was 0 0.92 inches, and that was the only sub-MOA group that I pulled off. Uh, you can comfortably say that the Gun R is a 1.5 MOA gun at 100 yards, with the 2539 grain JSB pellets any day of the week. A 1.41 inch average is pretty good. Now, as with anything in life, there are both pros and cons. So what are the pros of the gun are? Quite a bit, really. Something I haven't mentioned yet is how silky smooth this side lever action is. It is one of the better 
side levers I can think of, and that's to include guns that cost two or three times as much. Now, we do have a left-sided AR-15 style safety, where vertical is fire, horizontal is safe, and you'll find that very familiar. That's another pro. The consistency of the gun is very good. The accuracy of the gun is very good. The ergonomics are very good. This buttstock is phenomenal. I just can't say enough good about it. I love this buttstock. The grip is good. I like that the trigger guard is oversized, meaning it's V'd like an AR-15, and that's to accommodate a gloved finger. That's an absolutely fantastic feature. You have the Picatinny rail section in the front for the bipods and so forth. It does utilize a Picatinny style optics rail as well. It's extremely quiet and it comes with the capability of being made even more quiet if you choose to do so. These are all pros. The adjustable power via the transfer port is a pro. The adjustable regulator is a pro. Uh, it has a lot going for it there, but there are cons. And the only two major cons that I can give you is one, the trigger. The trigger is not fantastic and there's no way to adjust it. Perhaps the aftermarket will come out with some sort of replacement components for the trigger. Uh, but as of right now, it is what it is. And the other con would probably be the muzzle heavy bias of the gun. I don't care for that. Perhaps you do, and that wouldn't be a con to you. However, the cons are very limited when compared to the pros. So is the gun R worth its current selling price? And this is January, 2022, but is it worth the $999 and 99 cents that it costs? It absolutely is. I, I, I think it is. Now, if you're interested in one of these, we do have both calibers in stock at Baker Air Guns. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Click that bell if you'd like to get the notifications. I thank you for watching, and you all stay tuned, stay safe, and happy shooting. See, Danny's not here to make fun of me for saying that, so <laughs> I said it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dennis Baker with Baker Air Guns. Thanks for stopping by. Click the link below.